Today I have another $250 That Spider-Man Booth comic book mystery box. So you've already seen one on this YouTube channel and it was a pretty decent box. I got probably at least double my money back if not more. I got out a slab comic. It was the Amazing Spider-Man number 361, the first full appearance of Carnage. It was the second printing CGC 9.8 sells for about 150 200 bucks so just that comic alone paid for like three quarters of the entire box then also got quite a few very nice raw variant uh cover comic books a couple nice art prints uh yeah i mean the value wise in that box very very good so i've got another one here my second one and last one of the superior v11 $250 mystery boxes. So the V12s go on sale July the 8th, but if you've purchased Superior boxes in the past, you can actually pre-order your boxes now, and I already have. I've already placed an order for, I think, two boxes. I might get a third one. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. If this one, if this box here ends up being pretty good, I might go ahead and place the third order because sometimes with the superior boxes, I'll buy two. Sometimes I'll buy three. I'll, I just kind of, you know, just see what happens because, I mean, these boxes aren't cheap. They're 250 bucks a piece. This is not a cheap box, but it's nice though. Lots of times though, you will get a good chunk of your money back. So even if this entire box, if you don't want anything, nine nine times out of ten you can sell everything and get all, all your money back if not make a few bucks on your box which that's a nice thing okay oh it's stuck to it so we do not have a graded comic in this box this has one of the short boxes in it so no graded comic this time so v12 july the 8th and v11 is now okay Let's see what we got. Okay, so this time we actually do have a poster. The first box we didn't have like a poster tube. This time we have a poster tube. I know in past uh, superior boxes, if you had a poster tube, you usually had a really bad box. Value-wise, it seemed like. At least in me, personal experience in the past, if I had a poster tube, man, these things are always a pain to butt to get off. It seems like your box was like one of the lower end boxes. So hopefully it's not gonna be that way for this one. <laughs> hopefully not. Let's see, poster tube. What we got here. Oh, cool. We got some X-Men goodness here. Number 22 out of 100, signed by uh, Nunez, PlanetAwesomeCollectibles.com poster. Not too bad, it's kind of cool. Like that will be for sale. I won't keep that. Most of these posters I don't keep them just because I don't have room for all these oversized posters. You've got to have a lot of extra wall space for these oversized posters. These things are not small. They're like 18 by 12 by 10. I mean, you you have to have an entire house dedicated just for oversized posters if you actually want to keep all these. So there's, there's a direct link to my eBay store uh, in the description box to all my videos. If you want to check out like this will be for sale if you want to buy it and i price everything at fair market value of what items are like currently selling for on ebay and see we got some stickers we have this superior sticker actually i really like that sticker it's actually a really cool one superior sticker then we have street level hero we have anti venom venom club usually the more stickers you get and poster tube, <laughs> you usually have one of the lower end boxes. And I think I got one of the low end boxes this time. I think I did. I think I got one. Let's see what do we get. I got this. I got this art print the last time out of the last superior boxes. I got this art print, and I actually sold it already. I don't remember how much I sold it for, but I sold it on eBay already. This one's ninety-seven out of a hundred. Okay, we got another art print. This one is signed by Jim Lee. Got a Batman. Yeah, this will be for sale too. So down here you can see signed by Jim Lee. Cool. It'd be nice if these actually came with some, some kind of like certificate of authenticity or something. But uh, they don't. But nice if they did. We have another art print. This is signed by, I'm just gonna butcher, butcher that person's name. This is numbered 27 out of only 50. So that's actually a pretty low print art print. Pretty cool, and then here is 
Every single box, you have the rejected cover from the That Spider-Man Boo Superior V10 box where they did the exclusive Michael Turner Spider-Man 1, the Virgin sketch cover. Uh, what was it? They made a total of like 550 of them. He only wanted like 200 and, or was it? Yeah, 250 of them. So literally 300 copies of it. He literally ripped off the covers of them. And in this box, 250 of them had the covers ripped off. And here are the covers from the destroyed copies. Because they wanted to keep those copies extremely limited. So that's actually kind of different, you know? Pretty cool, though. So I have two of these now to sell. And I probably will sell both of these on eBay, more likely. I don't really have any desire to keep that. I mean, it's an interesting piece. This one is numbered 183 out of 300. Of course, then also signed by JPG McFly, who owns that Spider-Man booth, this company. Then here's the art prints. So now let's see which comics I got. But yeah, with three art prints, plus that rejected uh, comic cover, plus another, that's four art prints, plus an extra, like, Mother box had two stickers. This had three stickers. So I had, I had two extra art prints, extra stickers. So yeah, this this box is going to be one of the very low value mystery boxes. It's going to be full of just variant covers, nothing of uh, anything of real huge value, no like silver age goodness or anything like that. Just from personal experience, buying these mystery boxes. Once you've bought, you know, thirty of them. You can just kind of tell what kind of box you're going to get pretty quickly right off the bat. You can just kind of tell if you got a good box or a bad box. Come on. There you go. I'll just go from this way down because the back one had a certificate on the back of it. So it's going to be like a signed comic. Here's the first one on top. What do we have? Oh, this is a Torpedo Comics exclusive. I already have a couple of these. Wonder Woman number 750. Uh, I've been trying to sell my copy for like 25 bucks on, or 25 or 30 bucks on eBay now for like three months, two months, and I, and, and I can't move it. So yeah, I, I'd probably say it's actually probably worth probably more around like 20 bucks. Um, it's a super cool cover though. But yeah, it's not worth anywhere close to 40 bucks. I think on the Torpedo's website, they actually sell this cover. I think they actually do charge like 30 bucks for it though. But <laughs> nobody's actually paying close to that for the secondary market though next one what we got oh this man this comic was in the last superior box i i got i got three of them so this is from the eccc from this year that got canceled the flash number 750 so now i've got four of these all from the past three superior boxes and now this superior box um Cool, cool cover, but yeah, yeah. Next one we have Turtle Mania Special Number One Hundred. So this is like one of those special cover Turtle Manias. I'm not sure if this is actually any value to it or not. This might is that one of those special covers. I'm not sure. This one, I might have to look this one up, actually. It might have some value to it. I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. Actually, it might have some value to it. Might look that one up. Next one. Oh, we got a Vampirella. Uh, cool cover. Worth about 25 bucks, it says. Vampirella variant cover. Next. A very cool Fantastic Four Human Torch. Cool cover. Variant, say worth about 20 bucks. The next, we got Silver Surfer Black, number one variant. I've got like four or five of these now. All out of uh, that Spider-Man booth mystery boxes. Cool cover. I got quite a few of them now. I actually kept them all, though. Now, this is actually, we've got some, uh, what is this, Bronze Age goodness right here. X-Factor, number four. Five. This is a first appearance of somebody, I think, and the cover looks to be in immaculate condition. So I actually got some silver or some. That'd be Bronze Age, right? 
86, yeah, some Bronze Age goodness. I'm going to look that one up too, actually, make sure it's not worth. Or, uh, see, whose first appearance is that? I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, next one, I'll show you first. Amazing Spider-Man number 431. Cool cover. We got Spider-Man and, uh, was that, is that Scream? I think that's Scream on the cover. Pretty cool, though. Next, we got some, oh, this is some, this is some Silver Age here. X-Men number 41 now strikes the subhuman. Bonus, the origin of Cyclops. Did I get something here? I think I did. I think I got some Silver Age goodness right here. I'm to look that one up too, actually. This actually came out a little bit better than I thought I was going to get. Then last one, we got a signed comic. This says, Weapon H number one, Karis Comics, a Kirk and Cover exclusive, 2018 at San Diego Comic Con. Signed by Tyler Kirkham. Very cool. Let me actually look these three comics up right here. Okay, so this is not a first appearance of anybody, uh, but it sells, I'm, I'm looking on eBay, it sells for like a mid-grade copy between like 20 and 40 bucks. That's not bad for X-Men number 41. So let's say on average about 30 bucks for this grade right here. So that's kind of cool. So X Factor number five is the first cameo appearance of Apocalypse. And in this grade, uh, it's actually, it's an extremely high grade. I'd say it's like 10, maybe as high as 15 bucks in this grade. So not a huge, huge hit, but I mean, super high grade and a cameo appearance of, of Apocalypse. This Turtle Mania is actually probably the best hit from the box. Um, there's... From my research, there's only, looks like, 400 copies made of this cover. It sells on eBay for between, like, 30 and 40 bucks raw condition. So, that's yeah, not bad. Like, 30, maybe as high as 40 bucks for this comic. So, that's what we got for this one. So, no huge major hits in here. This is an example of one of the lower-end boxes to get from the superior boxes. So, this is an example. My first one was a good box. A higher... A mid-tier box this one was a low-end box so but still it wasn't bad it wasn't bad I'm still happy I got I will get my money back so I'll see you next time when they release the superior version 12 in July see you next time I'm out